What's up, everybody? God bless the world, and especially the body of Christ. Um, I just wanted to come and share this dream, these about three dreams that I had, set kind of separate dreams, but um, <clears throat> starting with the first one, first one was, it was like I was watching uh, Tupac, and uh, you know, like I said, I have a lot of dreams about Tupac, but uh, with things that don't even, that didn't happen in his life sometimes, or, you know, anyway. So I seen, uh, but this did, well, anyway, all right. So Tupac, um, he was at this party. It was like, I don't know, you know, Tupac was living his life really on the part that I came in on that I can remember is uh, this part. But uh, he was living his life, you know, living for, you know, for God, basically, you know, just being a sinner in this world, cursed by sin, and, you know, but living in this world, doing, but living for a righteous cause through his rap. You know what he did, you know, and everything. And uh, But uh, it was like he went to this party, and it was nighttime, it was a big crowd around and everything, and it was a big, it was a party, and um, and so then it was like, I guess somebody had ordered a hit on Tupac or something, and uh, and so he was standing at the party, and uh, so this guy in this black hoodie, this black guy, he came up, and dang, you know that I look at it, it seemed like it was kind of like I was looking at the first hand, even though I was looking at Tupac, it was like I was looking at the dude through my eyes, but I was looking at Tupac, now that I look at it, but, so the dude, all right, so he's standing there in the middle of the crowd, so the dude come up to him, to Tupac, and like, he like, unload, uh, I don't know, man, it was like, it seemed like, from the chest, like from, like, one, two, three, like four shots on each side of his abdomen, you know what I'm saying, like, all the way down, you know what I'm saying, like, but, ba, 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 like, you know what I'm saying, he shot him in his midsection, and, uh, but he didn't shoot anybody else, because he specifically, the guy, the black guy in the black hoodie, he was a young guy, he came, and he, he specifically wanted to shoot Tupac, I guess, because Tupac was the main threat, you know what I'm saying, and so, uh, then, but it was like, in the middle of the crowd, the guy didn't wear no mask, nothing, like, he didn't care, you know, he just didn't wear no mask, and uh and so then everybody back and so Tupac fell to the ground and I'm I'm guessing he was dead, you know, get shot that many times, but I'm guessing he was dead. And then uh it was like didn't nobody else want to get killed. So they didn't say they didn't say nothing to him to the guy that's the the black guy with the hoodie. Uh they didn't say nothing to him. And he was kinda brown skinned. He was like like I say, kinda a young guy, I'd give him thirty maybe, twenty eight but thirty. And uh, he smiled, you know, when he shot Tupac, he smiled like, yeah, nigga, got your ass, nigga. And then uh, <clears throat> he walked off, but he was pointing the gun in the crowd, at the crowd like, y'all niggas better not say nothing or y'all niggas dead too. You know, that's how he was, yeah, that's how, that was his demeanor. And uh, that was that part of the dream. Then the next part is uh, of the dream, of, an of another section of the dream, uh, I was, walking and I, I ran into uh Kanye West and uh and I don't know I was I started showing him my freestyle uh the freestyles that I've done and uh he really was impressed with those and he really liked them and uh and then I was telling him you know yeah you know that I'm kind of like I kind of rap like you you know what I'm saying I guess with some of the the topics and uh, things that we talk about, I kind of rap, I was telling him I kind of rap like him, and uh, he was real cool, and uh, and he was saying, yeah, he was like, man, he was like, do you feel it? Like, he was like, when you write, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to force yourself to write, do you? He was like, you just write, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I just write, because whenever I feel it, you know, whenever I feel the urge, I just write, and I write a lot, and uh, I freestyle a lot, you know, just working on this craft. And he was like, I already, he was like, that's good, you know, uh, he was like, that's good. He was like, I'll tell you what, we're going to go get in the studio. He was like, we're going to go get in the studio. He was like, you're not going to get high, you're not going to smoke no weed, nothing. You know, you're just going to go in the studio, we're going to start getting to work and everything. And I was like, all right, cool. You know, I was like, all right, good, you know, thank the Lord, it's cool. And uh, so that was kind of that part of the dream, just dealing with Kanye West and, uh, you know, him liking my rhymes and, us kind of having a, you know, a good relationship um, as far as the music and everything. And uh, and uh, let me see. Then the last part 
um, the third dream, I was uh, at my house, at this house, and I was at my house, and uh, somebody had came up. Her name was uh, Maria. I used to go to, she kind of heavy said a little bit, uh, Hispanic girl, and uh, and I, I used to, uh, to go to middle school with her, and I went to high school with her. There's a lot of Marias I went to middle school and high school with, but I cannot remember her name right now. But uh, I used to always flirt with her, if she remember. But she was just cool, you know, just real, uh, real cool, real nice girl. But anyway, she was in my living room, and she was sitting on my couch. And, you know, when I came out and seen that she was sitting on my couch, I was like, like, hey, how you doing? You know, I was like, how did you get here? You know, kind of like a complete stranger being in your house. I mean, not a stranger, but, you know what I'm saying, just like, Somebody who never comes over, they there, you know, like, hey, you know, what's going on? I like, um, do you know my mom or anything? She's like, no. She's like, no, I don't, I don't know your mom. She was, I really don't remember her explanation. She just was like, you know, basically, I'm here. I don't, I don't remember really how she got there. And uh, and then I was like, all right, cool. You here? You chilling? You peaceful? We good. And uh, so then I went and sat down on the couch, too. And she had somebody with her. I just can't remember who it was. And then uh, me and Elijah went and sat down on the couch uh, with her. And she had uh, she had brought over some 3D glasses, like a whole big row of them, you know, 3D glasses uh, with the, you know, 3D glass, red and blue in the, in the glass lens. And uh, she had brought a lot of them over. And, uh, and I was like, cool, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, I know Elijah like this, uh, you know, especially. And uh, it'll enhance his vision, you know, or you'll be able to see things, like, up close. Like, it'll be more personal. And uh, so he went to put them on, you know, and I was going to put them on, too. And she was saying that, uh, like, he, she had a happy, a happy Meal, you know, like, from McDonald's or something. And uh, and it was, like, with the 3D. It, it had the stuff that you would look at for the 3D stuff, you know, for the 3, 3D stuff to come up out. Of, and so you could see it. It was on in a Happy Meal. And uh, and so I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. You know, Elijah going Elijah gonna like this. It's gonna be real cool. And uh, and then I uh, so then I went outside on my porch, and it was daytime outside. It was daytime, and uh, it was a this this really nice old school car. I don't know, I don't under, I don't know what kind of car it was exactly, but it was real nice. Um, like it was candy paint, like red kind of. Kind of like paint, candy paint, red. Uh, had a vanilla roof, you know, like a white roof, um, white interior. I'm talking about super nice, nice rims on the car. I'm talking about it's super nice, like really nice. Like I feel good rolling in there, boy. It looked good, and um, and it was just there, you know what I'm saying? It just had rolled up, and it was sitting there. And, uh, and my neighbor, neighbor kind of came up, Bo. And he was like, man, he's like, boy, that show is, he's like, that's a show is a nice car. And he's like, man, you not, he was like, talking to me. Bo was talking to me. He's like, you not even going to drive it. He's like, you not even going to drive that car. You know what I'm saying? I was like, shoot, really? You know, and it's just like it's presented to me. You know, I was like, shoot, I said, yeah, we'll ride that, boy. That's super nice. So uh, what I think with that, okay, let's recap the Tupac thing. Man, I don't know. I know I I walked in a dream in dreams before I walked around in the self image of Tupac. Like I'm me on the inside, but on the outside the the image that's the self portrait is is Tupac, but it's still me inside. Um I don't know, you know what that is. Um like I say I don't know exactly what that is. But uh like I say, if it is me I mean, shoot, I'm going to die for a righteous cause, and I'm going to heaven, and people going to be saved for Jesus Christ. So my life is good, and I'm going to make the best of what I got. And I'm going to be blessed for it. I know I am, which is heaven. Heaven is the ultimate blessing that you can ever get. No worries, no no problems. So uh, that's possibly what that was. I, I don't know. Uh, like I say, I don't know. If somebody else know, help me out. So another part, um, the other part with Kanye West, uh, like I say, just just um, possibly what's going to happen in the future. I don't think like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I love to work with Kanye West. He's one of the coldest guys out there, period. Rap, when the rap game, beat game. Come on, man. Be for real. I, I love to work with that man. Um, 